In response to the recent series of granite attacks in Assam, the state's Director General of Police, DGP GP Singh, declared today that the banned United Liberation Front of Assam, Alpha Independent, is free to target him. Singh, undeterred by the threats, urged the insurgent groups not to disturb the people of Assam. People who love Assam should not disturb the people of Assam. I live in Kahilipara, you are free to target me, asserted DGP Singh. The defiant statement comes on the heels of two recent granite blasts claimed by Alpha Independent. The Delhi Police Special Cell has questioned two more persons in connection with the Parliament Security Breach case. The two were picked up by the Special Cell's counter-intelligence unit late night on December 14. The two had helped Lalit Mohanja, alleged to be the brand behind the plan, hide after he went absconding. The Guwahati High Court recently witnessed a remarkable act of generosity as an advocate voluntarily stepped forward to ensure the educational well-being of a child born out of a sexual offence against a minor mother. The single judge bench of Justice Achintya Mala Barua acknowledged the advocate's noble gesture, highlighting the importance of societal and state responsibility in such cases. The case, initiated by the father of the victimized minor, sought compensation for a child conceived through a tragic incident when the mother was just 10 years old. The court, noting the lack of fertile state schemes beyond the victim compensation framework, emphasized the need for additional support, especially for the child's education. Mizoram Chief Minister Lal Duhoma said that his government will continue to provide support to the over 40,000 people from Myanmar, Bangladesh and Manipur who have taken shelter in the state. Speaking in the assembly, Lal Duhoma said he had discussed the issue with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah and External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar over the phone before he was sworn in as the Chief Minister. He said that he would meet the two leaders in Delhi to discuss the matter and seek the centre's help. The State Bank of India, SBI, has hiked its best rate of lending from 10.10% to 10.25%, which is likely to lead to an increase in the EMIs of home, auto and personal loans. The increase in the marginal cost of lending rate, MCLR, of the country's leading bank now ranges around 8%. Britain Prince Harry was awarded over $180,000 after London's High Court ruled he had been a victim of phone hacking by journalists at Mirror Group newspaper MGN. Harry has sued MGN saying he was targeted by MGN for 15 years from 1996 and that more than 140 stories which appeared in its paper were the result of unlawful information gathering. With the office bearers' election slated early next year, the All India Chess Federation AICF has appointed Ajit Kumar Verma as the Interim Secretary. In a communication to the Chess Administrators AICF President Sanjay Kapoor announced the appointment of Verma as the Interim Secretary. Kapoor said Verma was appointed as the Interim Secretary under the powers vested with him and the latter will hold office till the office bearers for 2024-2027 are elected.